Well, hello here, motherfuckers, and I am here with your NXT review. Show is okay. Nothing too special this week. Um, you know, next week is going to be TakeOver, which is probably going to be like three times better than this. But, you know, this was a build-up show, I guess you could say. We start off with uh, Big E defeating Bo Dallas, and now Bo Dallas is banned from NXT. You know, um... I guess there's no problem with this since he's headed to WWE anyway. You know I'm not crazy about him. This match was okay. Not bad for a Big E match. Bo Dallas did a couple of, um, you know, decent little moves here. But I am not crazy about him as a wrestler. The guy just really doesn't do a whole lot in the ring. Um, you know, his character is good. I just, you know... Don't know how far he's going to go with it. Because once they change that character, there really ain't a lot left for Bo Dallas. Uh, but, yeah, this was all right. Not a, a bad match. And, you know, um, you had Bo Dallas taking off the turnbuckle padding, which is something you haven't seen in a while. I don't do that too often. So, eh, it's all right. Not bad. Then they had Paige uh, defeating Tamina. Um, I enjoyed this match a little bit more than Extreme Rules to date. I think it was a better match. It was a little bit longer, I think. Um, decent little match. Not too bad, you know. Women's stuff in NXT is a lot better than what's on, the, on Raw or SmackDown. They're like by a fucking mile. Um, yeah, it, it was good, you know. Um, Paige winning with the roll-up is not as good as her winning with her finisher, obviously. But that was all right. Like I said, a little bit better than the Extreme Rules. Match flowed a bit better, I think. Then it was Adam Rose defeating Camacho by count-out. And I don't get why it needed to end this way. Just a cheap fucking way to get them to wrestle again on TakeOver on a bigger card. Match was actually going pretty well. Well, uh, for the most part, I was liking it, but then, you know, they just cheaped out. Um, eh, so, that was just just a little cheap fucking way to get it to the next card. Then it was Natalia defeating Sasha Banks. Um, pretty decent match here. Very nice um, double arm suplex from Natalia, almost fucking throwing her out of the fucking ring. As I said, women's matches. I don't understand why this shit from NXT doesn't transfer well to, to Raw. They must be telling him to water it down because I don't understand why, you know, people are wrestling way better in NXT and you've got sock puppets and just nonsense like with Alicia Fox beating Paige in, in like a minute. I don't get why this is happening on Raw, but you have so much good shit in NXT with the women. Very short match, but you know it was a it was a decent one. Then you had um, Adrian Neville defeating Kurt Hawkins. Don't really see the point. I guess some people argue it's to establish him as a as a great champion. Uh, you know we already know he's a great champion. We don't need to be like constantly fucking reminded um, with squash matches and shit. At the end, you had Tyson Kidd cutting up promo on him. Uh, that was alright. You know, Tyson Kidd looks like he's improved on the mic. Um, you know, it seemed pretty intense there at the end. But, uh, you know, for the most part, it was alright. Nothing too fantastic on this show. A lot of the shit here is just the setup for next week, but you know, not a horrible show. Some decent action, some nice double arm super tonight. But yeah, it was all not bad, not great, but not bad. All right.